Hey you guys, okay, today since we're in this crazy cold spell, during this time in the winter, my routine changes a lot. What's important kind of changes and it's really, I think if you've noticed maybe that you might be starting to break out right now or you're noticing obviously some dry skin, um, it's due to the weather and you have to make some changes. So I'm gonna show you guys my go-tos. A few tricks that you may not have even heard of before. A few things that I think are kind of genius that I've learned through trial and error. Um, let me just go over really quickly a few skin things that are kind of go-tos. This morning as I was getting ready and I was kind of, you know, I was making my bed, I was doing some things, I washed my face, and this is a good face wash. I've shown this a lot, it's the Murad Anti-Aging anti Acne, the Time Release um, Acne Cleanser. I don't break out actively, but it's because I do use a lot of things that keep it from going that way because my skin will be a wreck if I don't. But this is so moisturizing. It's like a, um, a thick cream, which I think is really comforting and um, it keeps you from breaking out. It's anti-aging, it's really good. So that makes my skin feel good. But what I did is I used this mask. This is the five-in-one bouncy mask. It is amazing. It has like a fresh cucumbery scent. Um, if you held it to the side long enough, it would run out. But you see, it's just kind of that sort of jelly cold, like it feels like it's bouncing right now, like a cold gel consistency. And like just dipping my finger in, I rub just a little. Sometimes I'll do that and just tap it on my eyes. I don't even rinse it off. Um, that's a good trick right here. You know where we look a little crepey. That just like instantly plumps your skin. Put a little right here. So good, but you can really pile it on today. I piled it on. And um, it seems to really last a long time, so I love that. And then right away I use this. It's a plumping mask. I always do it in the morning. If it's something that's a little more like clarifying, if it's like a mud mask, I do that at night. But um, oh my goodness, you guys. Um, so if I take the time to do that in the morning, I really pile up everything. I use these little guys too. So I use that mask all over my face, even put it here, and then I put these on. Which these are like little gel strips. Um, you put the fat end this way so that you cover more of the crow's feet and all that goodness. The first few times I used it, I remember I was like using it the wrong way. Put the thin end here and the fat end here. Put that on and then um, I exfoliated my lips. This is my very favorite lip exfoliant, a must have in the winter. It's just oily enough, not too oily, not too abrasive, um, but it is. Like it will get everything off. It's a really good sugar scrub by Sarah Hap. It, it tastes good enough to eat and sometimes I will taste a little bit of it. It's so good. Um, so I did that, I, I kind of wiped it off and then I slathered on, slathered, that's a, one of those words, it's like bleh. Um, this Sweet Clay Lip Mask by Sarah Hap, which mine is, it's last little, I'm right about to hit the bottom of it. So I've used quite a bit of it. I really love it. It's kind of like a minty vanilla scent, but you just pack it on. So I'm looking gorgeous with like my green and my hot pink and my face looks like slime. You know, but I kind of did some things around the house and then when you rinse it off and you do your makeup, you just feel like your skin's just like, like it's just a drink it all in. You look a little more, you know, bouncy and pretty. Um, and then I put on a little bit of my Derma Doctor Wrinkle Revenge Eye Cream. This does not cause those little white hard bumps. It's amazing. I love it. You can even, that eye cream is designed to be used here as well, which that right there is a really rough area for me. Sometimes I get really dry right there. And um, not all eye creams can be used right there. That's something that I discovered not that long ago. Um, and sometimes you'll get those little white bumps and that's why. So this actually can be used along this, along that, everywhere. So then immediately put on my moisturizer. I have some that are go-tos that you guys know all about. This is my just original old moisture surge that you can really just pack on and use it morning or night or whatever. But um, what I do in the winter, I use that at night and I also use this. This is the Moisture Surge Intense. So that's the one that looks a little creamier. I love using it at night. I put it in these areas where I am prone to getting dry and then I go in and just put this everywhere else. But in the morning, I really like to use a, um, a sunscreen. So I've really been loving this. It's the Even Better with SPF 20. And um, I'm almost to the bottom of this. I have just been using it every single day and I've loved it. It hasn't caused any weird skin problems. But before I use that, I'll put on some of this original one. Like I'll put it in my hands, I'll kind of warm it up and I'll pat it kind of all over my face, you know what I mean? And then put this on over it. So, I don't know, and this has like no finish to it. This one just like your skin sinks it in and plumps up and it's good. I'm not saying layer up moisturizers, but I'm saying if you have something that's like this, that's kind of like one of those gels that plumps up your skin that works 
other times of the year, it may not be enough for the winter. So kind of, you know, or if you're normally just using something in the morning, um, think about adding something thin to it. You know what I mean? You can have the most perfect breakout free skin that you can keep under control most of the year, which I feel like is my case. Like I found these products that work good for me. I can keep my, make my skin in check. But as soon as the winter hits, sometime I will notice I'm getting like little white bumps under here. And it's your skin like producing excess oil because it senses that it's getting dry. So load up on the moisturizer in the winter and keep that from happening. If you keep your skin comfortable and really moisturized, it's not going to go nuts. But when you do your foundation, think about using a beauty blender, something that's can you, you can dampen. It just makes the finish of your foundation better. I feel like it always looks more dewy, but to really kind of add some extra oomph to it, put a moisturizing product on this. So like your serum or like a thin moisturizer, put a little bit of that like Clinique moisturizer, put this on there and then dip it in your foundation. And of course, this is always gonna be damp before you do anything. Put a little bit of moisturizer on it, put a little bit of a serum. This is cool, this Barsali Unicorn Essence. I don't do it all over my face and do that every time. It's too much, like I said, I don't like to layer things. But if you put a little on your hand and then put it on your beauty blender and then go right into your foundation, it's just such a good, it's just such a good thing. I really do like it. Definitely consider the beauty blender in the winter it's so much better than using a dry brush, smearing your foundation on your skin. It's damp, it's dewy, it's beautiful. You'll have the best result. Now, lips are very important. I am just hooked on the Sarah Hap Lip Slip. Um, I didn't even put anything on my lips today. Did not even do that. Because uh, this is what I was going to do. I always do my MAC Whirl Lip Liner. I do a little bit of that Sarah Hap Airbrush, you know? because it feels like it's something on your lips. It just kind of smooths out your lines and stuff. And I put this on and it's got a giant hair on it. And today I almost forgot to do that. But that's what I've been doing most of the fall and winter. I've just been using this lip balm and I love it. Use it with a little bit of lip liner and you're good to go. And something else to consider too, forego a lot of those really drying, they can be drying, they are drying, matte liquid lipsticks for some something that's a little better and if you love matte liquid lipstick I really do try one like this any of these bare minerals um, these gen nude ones this is in the color slay I also really love the smooch color these are amazing you guys it's not going to dry out your lips if I hadn't put that on I would have put this on um, these are great options for liquid lipsticks in the winter you will find that they will save your lips train yourself to try something different you guys if you are in the winter and you always are carrying your powder to touch up with break the habit you can do that in the summer in the spring if you've got a powder that you love okay and i think you'll find even in the summer and spring this is like better to do I, I, i'm telling you guys it's crazy you feel like you need a touch up your your makeup looks like it's breaking up a little if you put more powder on that it is going to be a mess so Get yourself one of these. It is the Blotterazzi, the Beauty Blender Bl Blotterazzi. I've talked about this so much, you guys. If you get a little oily or you feel like your makeup looks like it's breaking up, first of all, you can blot it, you know, if you feel a little oily. My main issue is not so much the oil. Um, my skin is pretty balanced and it doesn't get oily much anymore. I don't break out. My, and I feel like it's all because of the moisturizers. It's balanced. But... I'll notice that my makeup, you know, just naturally as you wear it throughout the day, might look like it's breaking up a little. You know, you might feel like you just need a little refresh. And so what you can do is you can spray your face, which another thing, the Evian spray, and I have a big one too. You just can't beat it. Just something that says it moisturizes, refreshes, and tones. Just something that adds some moisture back. Be careful of the sprays that are makeup setting sprays. Some of those kind of act as a powder and suck the life out of your skin. Um, I would just say really try to find one that says moisturizing or just find one that's as basic as possible. This Evian one is so basic, it's bas it's just like water. But getting that moisture back onto your skin, because you might think like, oh, well, it's just water, who cares? No. Getting a little bit of that moisture back on your skin is so big. So yeah, you can spray it and then dab it. What I like to do, just spray that. It's like if you're in a bathroom or you're in the car or whatever. And then, oh around your eyes right there. If your foundation or your concealer looks like it's creasing, this is like genius. Put a little on your forehead right there and boom. You are like fresh 
as a daisy. Highlighting to me makes the finish of my skin, makes the surface of my skin look dewy, it makes it look healthy, it makes it look moisturized and plumped. And if you can find products that make your skin truly look like that rather than like a painted like highlighted powder that looks chalky even if it's super shiny. Um, I don't mean the finish, I mean like it's a powder and you can tell. Or like you've used a stick or something that's just super obvious. This doesn't stand out in your face like, whoa, she's wearing highlighter. It's like, almost like the finish of your skin looks good. And I'm telling you guys, these are just my go-tos. In the winter, I love, 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 I love even to layer, and I'm gonna show you that. Use a product that looks like a liquid. So this Perico No Highlighter Highlighter. Not all of them are going to give the same effect. That's what I'm wearing today, but this is amazing. It's a serum. You can mix this in with your foundation. You can do that whole beauty blender trick where you mix this in with your um, foundation just directly onto a dampened beauty blender. Um, put it here, put a little bit on your nose, a little bit just right there, maybe a little on your cupid's bow, and it is beautiful. And if you want a little bit more of an intense look, because this can be pretty subtle, layer on a powder. This Too Faced Diamond Light Highlighter, you guys, I did not expect to like this. I really didn't. I, if you, When you swatch this, it's not special. It's really not. But when you put it on your skin, it gives you this glow from within, like skin-like, beautiful, smooth finish. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just different than any other highlighter. Different from my Anastasia ones that I love so much that I always say are like liquid, you know, powder. They're just beautiful. And if you look, it's one of those that looks poured. But do you guys remember I used to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural? You know, they were the ones that were the natural toned powders. And I would always say they have this glowy look to them. They're powder, but they have this glow. That's exactly what this is, except this is a highlighter. You know what I mean? Those were more like foundation, like powders that didn't give you a sheen. They just made your skin look glowy, like healthy. You know what I mean? That's the finish of this, and it's amazing. So definitely check this out. I have just really been into it, and when I look at my videos back where I'm wearing it, because that's a good tell for me, like when I know the certain kind of makes makeup kinds of makeup that I'm wearing and I look at my videos back, I can always tell, you know, you guys try it. I know it seems gimmicky, it's like, well, trust me, it's the best highlighter I've ever tried. A great tip, when you're removing your makeup, we are all in, you know, I've been into those for years, using wipes and stuff. I haven't really been so much lately. Um, that really just sucks the life out of your skin in the winter. You don't be rubbing something on. If you love it, you love it, but just try something new. I think you'll find that you may even have to use you know, less moisturizer, your skin might get to a point where it is actually comfortable because you're not, you know, scrubbing it with those makeup wipes that can be a little harsh and stingy. Try an oil. I have the most breakout prone skin on the planet. I have to treat it so carefully and use all the oil free things. But for whatever reason, I can use a makeup cleansing oil, certain ones, and um, and it's good. And this Basha Makeup Breakup Cleansing Oil, you guys, is one of my go-to products. I just, I can't live without it. I love it so much. Just completely on repeat, like just repurchase. And um, it's amazing. And it makes your skin feel comfortable, you know, before you start washing and stripping it away. So um, that's a great, great thing to do. And okay, in the shower, let me talk about my actual skin for a moment because I have the, like right now my hands are so dry. I need to use some hand cream. But my skin just gets so dry in the winter. Even in the summer, I try to use moisturizing body washes. These are my two favorites. This one is almost gone, and I really do prefer this one. The Dove Deep Moisture is good, and the smell is okay. I wish it just smelled like the old original Bar Dove soap. This has kind of a funky smell, but it is good and it's very creamy. But I think you just cannot beat this. It's the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash. It says it's fragrance free but it does have a natural scent to it just from the ingredients it's like a it's like a natural almost like herbally smell kind of like an aveda ish smell but just toned way down you know what i mean so don't let that freak you out but just very simple and it always makes my skin feel nice so there's one body wash that i would say if you if i could only purchase one the rest of my life it would be this this avino i just love it and i've talked about that speaking of another avino avino product I do want to do a toddler favorites video, kind of a must-haves things video that, that really work well for us and for my child. But you guys know for years I have been talking about this when Olivia had her little, you know, they call it the six-week rash or baby acne where they get those little bumps and it's like so sad. My friend recommended this to me. She has four kids and she told me that's this, that this cleared it up every time and it was the Aveeno Fragrance Free 
lotion. They have it in like lavender and stuff. But I started using this on Olivia. It always helped with the bumps on her arm, on her face. It cleared it up like that. And I just always keep it in the house. We have like so many of them. I have one in her room. I have one in our nightstand. Um, I keep one in the kitchen where I can, I, I'm always just like putting it on her cheeks. Um, I'm like, can you only put your face cream on? And I put it on her cheeks, you know, and it just has a lovely little smell to it. It's fragrance free, but it, again, it's just kind of the natural smell of the product. And um, I really do like it. Something else that has been really good for her is this, the Kopari Coconut Melt. And I use this, I bought it for myself, but then I started using it on her too because she does have, like I said, pretty sensitive skin. So between the Aveeno and this, this is pretty much, this is all that I use on her. Um, and then she has an Aveeno body wash that is like the creamy wash that I really like. And then I use the Monate Kids um, shampoos on her. But this is great. It is real coconut oil. It lasts for freaking ever. You just take a little bit out. And sometimes it's hard to get a little out, but I was kind of like scrape it. This is going to be way. See, like even this, way too much. Like so much. Put it on my hands because I need it. But you put it just anywhere. It's like you can use it on your face. You can kind of dab it on your eyes. Some people use it in their hair. I don't know. Um, I would be afraid to do that. Maybe like on your ends or something. But it's just so good. Any dry skin on your body, like around your ankles, around your arms, it just makes your skin feel amazing. So that's pretty much my go-to. When I get out of the shower, I use that, and then I use a little bit of this. It's um, my cashmere oil. I love this. You guys know, I have been talking about this for a long time. It's my, oh, I always say my Kim Zalciac oil. Love that stuff. I've gone through several, and I have a backup waiting because that one is almost out. Another thing that I use in the shower, if you do use a scrub, which I think is pretty essential in the winter, but you can go overboard and kind of scrub your skin too much and get too, you know, get too much irritation, you really want to use something that has like an oily base to it. I've used several that I really do like over the years, but I really, really love this one, and it's that same stuff. But it's very, um, the scent is just great. The actual like base that it's in is so oily and like satisfying. I don't know. It makes my skin feel amazing. So love that. So the hand cream that I've been using, I don't know, like I said, sometimes I'll mostly grab that Aveeno baby that's everywhere in the house. I really enjoyed this. I mean, it's an expensive hand cream. It's that Chanel Precision whatever and I'm almost out of it. I've enjoyed that. I've also been using that one that looks like the little egg, the little Chanel one that's in my purse, which I love. And that one is a little lighter than this one. I wish it was a little heavier. This one's thicker, which I like. Sometimes that one's too light. Let me use this. This is something that's like a little nice extra. I took my rings off. It is an avocado mask. I hope they still have this. This has been under my sink for ages and I haven't used it. Ooh, they're like real legit gloves, you guys. And I thought I'll use this and yeah, look at this. How nice is this? So it's gloves that are dry on the outside, which is good because I thought I was gonna like open it up and it was gonna be, you know, crazy. So it looks like there's like a little sheet. Do you pull the sheet apart? Sure. Huh. And then I'm just gonna put my hands in. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my thumb went into the wrong thing. Oh yes, you guys. Oh, this feels good. Oh, stick my hand in backwards. Oh, that's good. I'm telling you, my hands needed this so badly. Yeah, so it's like when you open it, it looks like the glove and then there's like a sheet that's cottony. Try to open up the sheet and you might want to do that before you put the other glove on because you're going to put your hand down into the sheet, if that makes sense. Let me never get this other one on. Okay. You guys, if they still have these. Oh, no, and I've got my ring on. <laughs> you guys, if they, if they still have these... Oh my gosh, I'm ordering more of these tonight. Because I saw this under my cabinet and I was like, I cannot believe I've never used this. I have desperately needed, oh, it feels so good. I desperately needed this for a long time. Just like watching TV at night or whatever. But then the outside is dry. I mean, there's a little bit of wet on it. That probably just came off when I was, but oh my gosh, you guys, good stuff. You can like kind of rub your, ooh, so. The Sephora Avocado Hand Mask. 
Yeah, and I saw it under my cabinet and I thought, what a great thing to show, but I've never freaking used it, so I'm not gonna like talk about it if I haven't used it. Offer a mask enriched with natural avocado act extract, offers intense nutrition to dry skin, repairs and soothes overworked hands. For hands that are suppler and instantly soothed. You can go about your daily activities while treating your hands to a full beauty experience. Um, peel the paper film off the tab. <gasps> Fill, oh no, I didn't do that before. Oh. oh goodness. So you're supposed to do this and then you tape the tab. Gosh, I'm not getting the full effect. Maybe have someone help you because that's just not happening. But wow, what a nice thing. So you pull the tabs and then you tape it to your wrist. So really nothing does drip out. This is genius, you guys. Now I'm not one of those sheet mask fans. I think a lot of them are just kind of junk. When you look at the ingredients, literally, the first ingredient on every single one is like glycerin and like all this stuff. I'm like, you can buy glycerin, just, I mean, I wouldn't even want to do that. Like just, I don't know, it's just weird, you know? Oh, it smells really good, it has kind of like a, fake avocado smell. You know like when they make things smell like avocado but it's like fresh and good. Gosh, I wish I would have taped this. How would I have even done that? I guess I could go get Brad to help me. Yeah, you could totally clean. <gasps> you could totally clean while you have this. You could be on an airplane. Everything you touch like isn't... Oh yeah, look. Like it's not even... Like nothing's even on the gloves. <gasps> Love that. Yeah, for an airplane. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you travel a lot, you gotta get these. I am placing an order for more of those tonight. I'm gonna get better. Okay, so let me take this off. Ooh, yes, that feels so good. So you just take it off. Wow, that couldn't have been easier. I was expecting like a greasy, grossy thing and it just wasn't. Oh, if I would have left it on more, it would have been even better, but I'm getting impatient. Ah, oh, made, my, made my nails look good and my like grody cuticles. Ooh, yeah, right there, my hands always in, in here. You know, and right there, they always get irritated. <gasps> Love that. Oh, and it's such a good scent. You guys, oh my gosh, if there's one thing you pick up, pick you up some of those. Oh, pick you up some of those. Um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing a peek at my winter skin essentials. You guys, you do have to change it up a little bit in the winter. But if you've noticed that your skin might be breaking out, or if your makeup's just not looking right, please take into account, like, like mine is not looking right right there. Oh, you. Please take into account the weather. No, take into account that your skin will break out if it gets dehydrated. It will start overproducing oil. You'll have a mess. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Love y'all so much. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye, guys.